my dear friends i am taking second question of code 5002 llb fifth semester what is the question what is the procedure for the trial of an offence by session court this is a very important question from examination point of view answer procedure for trial of an offence by session court the procedure for trial by session court as contained under section 225 to 237 mere sathiyo session court dwara koi bhi case का प्रोसीजर जो ट्राई किया जाता है उसमें ये सेक्शन है 225 से लेकर 237 तक माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई विल डिस्कस दिस प्रोसीजर इन 12 पार्ट्स द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज ट्रायल टू बी कंडक्टेड बाय पब्लिक प्रोसिक्यूटर एंड सेकंड ओपनिंग केस फॉर प्रोसिक्यूशन इसी प्रकार से बारह इसके पार्ट्स हैं मैं बारह पार्ट्स ऐसे लिखूंगा जैसे ये एक और दो लिखे हुए हैं आप इनको अच्छी तरह से सभी पार्ट्स को याद कर लें और इनके नीचे जो मैंने थोड़ी थोड़ी थोड़ा सा डिस्क्रिप्शन दिया है इस डिस्क्रिप्शन को भी आप इनके नीचे जरूर लिखें इसको बढ़ा भी सकते हैं और घटा भी सकते हैं यदि आप इसी तरह से इस क्वेश्चन को वहां पर करेंगे आपके सत्तर नंबर से कम नहीं आ सकते ये मेरी गारंटी है लेकिन सभी बारह पॉइंट्स लिखने पड़ेंगे और उनके नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन जितना आप समय के हिसाब से कर सकते हैं आप करें मैं सभी क्वेश्चन के लिए आपको ये बता रहा हूं जितने भी पॉइंट्स हैं उनको लिखना है अंडरलाइन करना है और जितने सेक्शन हैं इनको भी हाईलाइट करना है देखो ये सेक्शन मैंने हाईलाइट किए रेड पेन से तो प्यारे विद्यार्थियों प्यारे साथियों मैं यही आपसे कहना चाहता हूं मैं जो क्वेश्चन कराता हूं ये सभी एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से नंबर कैसे आए ये तरीका है वो बाकी आप समझदार हैं क्वेश्चन को बहुत अच्छी तरह आप हर एक क्वेश्चन को बहुत अच्छी तरह समझते हैं मुझे ज्यादा समझाने की आवश्यकता नहीं मैं तो एक एग्जामिनेशन का पैटर्न आपके सामने रख रहा हूं जिसमें आपको कम से कम सत्तर नंबर जरूर मिलेंगे सो आई एम टेकिंग वन बाय वन फर्स्ट पार्ट ट्रायल टू बी कंडक्टेड बाई पब्लिक प्रोसिक्यूटर अकॉर्डिंग टू सेक्शन टू टू फाइव इन एवरी ट्रायल before a court of session the prosecution shall be conducted by public prosecutor public prosecutor is the important for the trial second opening case of prosecution according to section 226 when the accused appears before the court in presence of a commitment of the case under section 209 the prosecutor shall open his case by describing the charge brought against the accused and stating by what evidence he proposes to prove the guilt of the accused my dear friends these are the two points both the points are i think is very clear to you now i am taking third point my dear friends i am taking third point this says according to section 2 to 7 if upon consideration of the record of the case and the documents submitted 
and after hearing the submissions of the accused and the prosecution in this behalf the judge considers that there is not sufficient ground for proceeding against the accused he shall discharge the accused and record his reason for doing so my dear friend from this third point the this is the clear statement if does not fee the sufficient ground against the accused are not produced by the prosecutor the judge can acute the judge can discharge the accused this is the third point fourth point framing framing of charge according to section 2 to 8 if after such consideration and hearing as a four said the judge is of the opinion that there is a ground for presuming that the accused has committed an offence which is exclusively tribal by the court he shall frame in writing a charge against the accused in fourth if judge feels that the accused has committed an offence then he will frame a charge against the accused this is the fourth point so now i am taking fifth point my dear friends fifth point conviction on plea of guilty the according to the section 2 to 9 if the accused pleads the guilty the judge shall record the plea and may in his discretion convict him, him there on sixth point date of prosecution evidence according to section 230 if the accused refuses to plead or does not plead or claims to be tried or is not convicted under section 2 to 9 the judge shall fix a date for the examination witnesses or the production of any document or other thing seventh evidence for prosecution according to section 231 on the date so fixed the judge shall proceed to take all such evidence as may be produced in support of the prosecution my dear friends these are the points of the proceedings conviction on plea of guilty under section 2 to 9 if the accused pleads the guilty the judge shall record here the judge shall record the judge shall record the plea and may in his discretion convict him thereof sixth the date of prosecution evidence according to section 230 if the accused refuses to plead or does not plead or claims to be tried or is not convicted under section 2 to 9 the judge shall fix a date for the examination of witnesses or the production of any document or maybe other thing seventh evidence for prosecution according to section 231 on the date so fixed the judge shall proceed proceed to take all such evidence as may be produced in support of the prosecution my dear friends all the concepts are clear there is no need to clarify more 
because everything is clear before you so these are the points of proceedings and or these are the points for procedure by the session court now i am taking eighth point my dear friends eighth point acquittal according to section 232 if after taking the evidence for the prosecution examining the accused and hearing the prosecution and the defense on the point the judge considers that there is no evidence that the accused committed the offense the judge shall record an order of acquittal this is clear point if there is no evidence and if though there is no document and there is no other thing in support of the in support of the offense the accused may be acquitted this is the eighth point no one ninth point entering on defense according to section 233 where the accused is not acquitted if the eighth condition is not applied then come to the ninth according to section 233 where the accused is not acquitted under section 232 above he shall be called upon to enter on his defense and adduce any evidence he may have in support thereof if the accused puts in any written statement the judge shall file it with the record if the accused applies for the issue of any document or witness the judge shall issue process but must be without bad intention here in this a ninth point my dear friends if accused produced any document or any witness or any thing in support of his offense all the document should be precise and concise and there should be no bad, there should be no bad intention to defeat the justice or to waste the time of the court now i am taking 10th point my dear friends now i am taking 10th point argument this is the point of argument according to section 234 when the examination of the witnesses for the defense is complete the prosecutor shall sum up his case and the accused or his pleader shall be entitled to reply provided that where any point of law is raised by the accused or his pleader the pro prosecution may with the permission of the judge make his submission with regard to such point of law this is the complete process of the argument from both the side from prosecutor prosecutor cuter or as well as pleader so in this argument prosecutor has put his argument and pleader from the accused side can put his argument for his defense 
in 11th the judgment of acquittal or conviction according to section 235 after hearing arguments and points of law the judge shall give a judgment in the case here this is the 11th point here this point is for the judgment after hearing all the points from both the sides the judge shall give a judgment in the case if the accused is convicted the judge shall unless he proceeds in accordance with the provision of this section 360 here the accused on question of sentence and then pass sentence on him according to the law in this 11th section the judge feels that the arguments are not sufficient from the accused side then the, then judge may pass the sentence against the accused now i am taking 12th point my dear friend <coughs> the 12th point previous conviction this is the last point of this question according to section 236 in a case where a previous conviction is charged under the provision of section 211 and the accused does not admit that he has been convicted previously as alleged in the charge the judge may after he has convicted the said accused under section 229 or under section 235 take evidence in respect of the alleged previous conviction and shall record a finding thereof provided that no such charge shall be read out by the judge unless and until the accused has been convicted under section 229 or under section 235 my dear friend this last point about the previous conviction if the accused denied the previous conviction this is the point before the judge how it is proved that he has been convicted previously this is the point about the whole conviction because conviction of the present case or you can say the conviction of subsequent case and previous conviction the sentence or the punishment will be added so this is the main important question of this point 12th that is previous conviction my dear friends i want to make a request to you in the last please subscribe the channel i shall be very thankful to you